I'm excited to learn that some of you are interested in a career in robotics and automation. There's many paths you can take in this career, from engineering, project management, sales, robot programming, assembly. It's an exciting industry to be in. So robotics is a very good steady job that's not going anywhere and is always going to be growing here in the United States. Tyler Tyson from Aceta. Uh, I'm a robotics systems engineer. Been here for about nine years now. What really drove me to it was a challenge to solve problems in the automation world. Uh, we get to work with robots every day. It feels more like playing video games than actual work. I like working with my hands and building things and fixing things. My name is Matt Johnson. Uh, I'm a field service technician with Aceta. So when a company has their robot breakdown, I drive out to them and I fix it or reprogram or whatever has to be done. I don't really like being cooped up, so if I, I really like the traveling aspect of it and every job is something different. Decided I want to do something where I could be on my feet and really get into you know the mechanical side of things or the electrical side of things and how things work and operate. I'm Cole. I work at Aceta and I'm an electrical assembler. I typically will build enclosures and run cables from the enclosures to specific devices around cells. Um, make sure everything electrically is sound. I know there's some exceptions. They might need my help installing a cell or two out in the field at some point, but for the most part, I am just come to the same place every day at the same time and do, well, not the same thing. I do all sorts of variety of things here. Um, they don't just box me into that uh, electrical you know, space. I also work on the mechanical side as well, which is really fun. With robotics expanding, there's more and more opportunities in the workplace. There's controls for programming PLCs, the robot programming, engineering, assembly, and service. So it's going to be an expanding field that has many opportunities to challenge you every day. I'd definitely give it a shot. There's a huge variety of aspects when it comes down to it. There's PLC programming, uh, you know, working with HMIs, there's robot programming. Then if you're more of a hands-on person who just likes to build stuff, the assembly side of it, you still work with robots and robotics, but you get to set up everything and build it all. And it's, there's a huge variety of stuff, so no matter what you're into, there's most likely some aspect that you'd be interested in. You can't just have a group of people that are only assemblers. You're going to have, you need project managers, you know, you need people engineering the products. You need all sorts of different people working together. Um, and that really gives you a, a lot of options, especially here at Aceta. Honestly, I mean, and that's the nice thing is if I ever get bored of what I'm doing here, I can talk to someone and say, hey, I want to do some training, go to school maybe, and learn something else, you know. No matter where you go in the robotics field, the best way to do it is to work hard and have fun with it because it's something you can do for a long time. I feel like you make the world go around in a way. Um, I mean, I've been to places where they bolt down bolts on an engine all the way to places that make you know metal doors. Every metal door that you see, this place makes them. The younger you start thinking about all those things, the better off you are. I'm, I'm saying that. <laughs> And I really mean that. Um, so if you have an idea of something you already want to do, you better get on it now and start thinking about how you're going to make that happen.